If I could recommend just one fragrance for a man at the moment, what would it be? Cue the music! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by, baby. So in today's video, we'll be covering a topic that you guys seem to bring up almost every day, it seems like, and it's the question of what is my favorite fragrance for men? Now, I've always had trouble answering this type of questions because there's so many incredible fragrances out there. But at this moment in time, I can finally say that I have a clear answer for you all. Are you ready? It's Cidre Boise by Mancera. Hell yeah. Mwah. Fantastico. Bellissimo. Fuego. Cataplictico. Cataplictico, tinapo. 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 Now, before all you internet warriors get to work and be like, really? Curly? That's your choice? I'm not saying that this is one of the best fragrances ever created, but it's just one that I personally adore. But first of all, let me just say how disappointed I am that none of you ever mentioned in my two years of YouTube how incredible this juice is. Shame on you. Shame. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. So let's do a, a little story time on how I first discovered this fragrance. I was in Chicago a little over a month ago doing some filming uh, for my upcoming fragrance release. More news on that soon. And my friend Ross from TLTG Reviews happened to be wearing these uh, while we were sitting in the same car. I was constantly getting strong whiffs, even with my mask on. And I was like, wow, somebody in this car smells amazing. Fast forward to now, and this love at first sniff has now become my new obsession. You know what? There's many kind of different levels to fragrances. Some smell terrible, some smell pleasant, some smell incredible. And then there's the ones that hate you in all the right places and really just speak to your inner female anatomy. That's what this does. All right, now how does this actually smell? First of all, let's just get this out of the way and this does not smell like Aventus. And I'm really getting tired of everybody just copying each other and saying that this is just another Aventus clone. Trust me, I know both of these very well. Saying that this smells like Aventus is like saying that every fruity, woody, musky fragrance smells the same. And that's just not true. Straight up. The most prominent accords that I'm getting with this one is a fruitiness coming from a smooth lemon combined with black currant, a strong woody backbone, and a beautiful vanilla mask that makes it truly irresistible. There is supposedly a leather note in here, which I don't pick up, but I definitely get a slight smokiness in the dry down. The vanilla in here also reminds me of Annie by Nishane, which if you like that, I think you will enjoy this one as well. In terms of seasons and occasions, to me, this is a super versatile fragrance. You can really wear this anytime, anywhere. Because of the perfect balance between the bright fruitiness and the depth of the woods and vanilla, this will work spring, summer, fall, winter, day, night, dressed up, dressed down. The compliment factor on Cidre Boise is no doubt gonna be very high. And in my experience, women really tend to love this kind of DNA. To add some real world proof, a few days ago, a couple stopped my boyfriend on the street to ask him what he was wearing because it smelled amazing and that they had been walking behind him to just get whiffs of it. And then he was like, oh, I'm wearing Cidre Boise by Mancera. And they were like, uh -huh. okay, they didn't know. Also, mind you, this was after six hours of wearing the fragrance and they were both wearing masks. In terms of performance, it has to be said that this fragrance was unfortunately reformulated. The older bottles did perform better and had a little bit more depth smell-wise, but I'm still getting seven hours of longevity with around two hours of moderate projection with this 2020 batch. Pricing is also gorgeous. Stunning. The cheapest I found this one online was around 68 bucks at or a fragrance. Keep in mind that this bottle is 120 ml, so you're getting a lot of juice for your money. 
So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed hearing about my number one fragrance for men at the moment and be sure to comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this baby right here or let me know what your number one fragrance is. Also don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications and give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. See you soon!